Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakodash, the bonus to our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. Just again to speak on uh, the, the situation that happened at IUIC where Bishop Nathaniel, the leadership, was calling out an act. Uh, well, when you read the text, um, it seems like there's an act of adultery that happened. Could you read the text? And it, from the text, it seemed like that it actually occurred and that it was going on. Um, and, you know, just like when we watched it originally, even just, I said to myself, I said, first of all, you shouldn't have done this. I definitely don't agree with airing out that information. I mean, you could, you could explain it, but to put up the text messages and stuff like that, that's really not right. I wouldn't have did it, you know, unless, unless you had the intent to really make an example out of them make an example out of the school and say, look, here's what happened. And we're going to tell you right now, we want to tolerate this. So if we find out you guys are doing this, you're going to be permanently gone, etc." But instead, um, you know, they were laughing. Now we're not saying, I'm not saying that Bishop Nathaniel was in agreement with this. Um, I do think, however, these two happen to be uh, a victim of, um, you know, just being a victim of, of being lower rank and you're going to be called out and uh, be made fun of, um, you know, cause we, we all know that we already knew adultery was going on behind the scenes. We already know that, you know, there's testimonies on that because you got the women in the schools. We're still Israelites. You still read the scriptures. The same things that happened back then, just because people throw on purple with fringes and you calling them sisters, daughters of Sarah and you calling them sisters and you got brothers. It don't mean that it ain't going to happen. It's going to happen. Nothing new under the sun, but for that, for those two to get called out, I do think that, you know, they, they just happened to be a victim of being a lower rank and, uh, they were going to get called out and be laughed at. Now, the thing is to see that that could be problematic because when you air out people's laundry like that and showing text messages and stuff, people can get better and then they can. You know, it could start a fire. They could then say, OK, you want to do me like that? Well, guess what? I'm going to show these texts. I'm going to show this text. And that's typically what happens when people leave that, that group. Typically, when they leave that group, they feel wrong in some type of way. And they don't get dealt justly. So what do they do? They air out people's laundry. So that's the type of fire. And that's why I don't know. I, I just don't agree with uh, Bishop Nathaniel taking that approach. I don't know why he he did it that way and if anything making fun of it but like i said they happen to be i think they're victims of being lower rank because that you know they de he definitely um they definitely wouldn't do that to somebody who's higher rank definitely wouldn't right but nonetheless they still believe that that this was good they think this is okay which is not it's not even okay you should have kept this in house you should have just dealt with the situation and did it a different way, right? They still will go on. Nate's still probably going to take his trips. He probably already on the flight right now. And they think that everything's just good and they just going to keep moving on. Well, I just got one scripture here. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Even in this chapter, he's, Paul's referring to what? Somebody that was in the church who thought it was a good idea that he could have his father's wife. And they thought it was OK. So he was rebuking them. So he said in verse six, your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little leaveneth leaveneth the whole lump. Purge out therefore the old leaven that ye may be a new lump as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh shot our Passover is sacrificed for us. So listen, your glory is not good over there at the IUIC because you're still going to party. You're still going to throw feeds. You're, that, that, you're still going to be traveling. That's not a that's still nothing to glory in knowing that that stuff is happening on the regular in your in your school. You if anything, you should get your house in order. You should obviously not have aired this out publicly like that and just said, look, we had a case of dealing with this adultery. We're going to kick them out and we're going to deal with it. And then behind the scenes, when you're off camera, get your house in order. 
You know, what what cuz what does it look like you traveling and you doing these interviews? You got time to do all these things. But your house ain't in order. You got to you got to start shutting stuff shutting stuff down and tightening up. And that really goes into you basically putting the women out. Say look no more women here, no more women this. That's cleaning up the act. But they're laughing about it. They're just moving forward like, hey, them niggas got caught. That's on them. And I'm willing to bet everybody, other there were other people in that crowd that was just like, oh, shoot, let me delete my text messages. Hey, sister, delete your text messages. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure somebody, somebody on that at that table knew that this wasn't a good idea. Because why they over there uploading the text messages? Yeah, we're gonna pull up those text messages. We're gonna. I'm pretty sure one of them men knew, like, hey, I don't think this is a good idea, brother. This won't be a good look. We should try to keep this in house, and not get too personal, like this. But they didn't say nothing. You should have said something, because now this just looks horrible, and it's just gonna look even more horrible if the next time we see Bishop Nathaniel, he's on another platform. Doing an interview, he's over here, he's across the world. All oh, that. Why you got that going on in your house, man? You're supposed to get your house in order, man. And you're still gonna party, you're still gonna, you know, dance, throw feasts, and when and the little scripture says your glory is not good. A little leaveneth, leaveneth the whole up. If anything, this is a time now for y'all to get your house in order. Stop stop with the BS, handle your business. Because the Lord is not pleased. He's not. So you got to you gotta do what's right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's not a laughing matter. I don't know why it's joking. But like I said, I think those two happen to be a victim of being lower ranked. And just said, look, we're going to make an example out of these two. But you probably got that happening all the time. And you damn sure wouldn't do it to your higher ranks. Okay? To this day, I don't think Bishop Daniel ever uh, corrected Bishop Kanai, when he was going off and all that, all those information came out on him. If anything, he just came to his aid, you know. So, but the scriptures talk about that too. We told you about that group. We told you about that group. Yes, the, what them two did was wrong, right? It was wrong. It's against the law, right? It's a sin. But you would think that would cause for an emergency for the leader leadership. To say, look, we got to get this in order. Making a mockery out of them as an example can just cause bitterness to set in for these guys. Right. And 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 and, and they might start turning on individuals. Everybody's just going to start turning on everybody if they think that that's what that's going to happen to them. You understand? So your glory is not good because you're still going to go on and put up videos about you marching, partying, feasting. Going across the world here, going across the world there, when instead you should be focusing on getting your house in order, just like the book of Corinthians, Paul was telling the Corinthians is about. You know, like y'all all happy in there and all this fun stuff, but y'all got this kind of act activity going on in there. So your, your glory is not good. You got to purge that up, man. Get your house in order. Know there's a time and place for everything. All right, handle your business. As leadership, because this is this is well, this is what you you would think that there would be a sense of emergency over there. So no, your glory is not good, right? Okay? Shalom.